Yavol, I am aware of it, Your Honor. When you returned from that troop, you saw the Einsatzgruppen, the special operation groups, at their work. You told Miller, this is not the way. Our men will, be, will become sadists. There should be found another way of execution. Is that correct? Das letzte Wort, man müsse eine andere Methode für Hinrichtungen finden, das ist mir fremd, das höre ich zum ersten Mal. Uh, this last word, that one should find another method for executing people, that's quite new to me. I'm, uh, I hear this for the first time. For the first time. Good. So in Bureau 06, you were given the article in life for comment in our T47. And you gave your comments in T4851. On page 31 of the manuscript put before you, without any remark or notary or notation, that is, you took no objection to what is said there except for one reservation which I shall remind you of. The following appear as being noted from your own mouth. Page 31, Your Honor. In the middle of the page. Your Honor, did you find the passage? President of Court, no. She said that if extermination must be physical, let it be physical, but not by shooting. Not that the brains of a Jewish baby will be splashed over your leather coat. As it happened in Minsk. As it happened in Minsk. Not as it happened in Minsk, is that correct? Nein, das ist eine, eine völlig falsche Auslegung meiner Worte. Und der Sinn, der Sinn, der kommt einem ja förmlich entgegen aus dieser meiner Erklärung. Aber so habe ich sie nicht abgegeben. Denn der Sinn ist ja der gewesen, dass es nicht angeht, dass man hier die Menschen tötet. Ich habe es ja, das, ich habe es ja klipp und klar erklärt. Es ist ja im Prinzip egal, ob mit Gas oder mit der Kugel. Dagegen war ich gewesen. Das ist eleganter aber mit Gas. Bitte? So meinten die Herren vom Ostministerium. Es wird eleganter mit Gas, nicht wahr? Ja, aber meine Meinung war das ganz bestimmt nicht. Das, das also. geht ja auch aus den, aus den Sätzen, die ich eben jetzt gehört habe, ganz glatt hervor. Ja. Wer die Sache hier mit der, mit der physischen Vernichtung da hineingebracht hat, das weiß ich nicht. Das weiß ich nicht. Aber der Sinn, den ich meinte, den... Äh, Den kann man mir wohl unterstellen, dass ich ihn wirklich so gemeint habe, wie ich das äh, in mir gespürt habe. Sie sagen aber nun jetzt, der Führer eine physische Lesung befohlen hat, 
muss es eine physische Lösung sein. Physische Lösung. Habe ich das unterschrieben? Das Sie ich haben nicht. keine Bemerkung dazu gemacht. Nur zum Wort offensichtlich haben Sie da eine Bemerkung durch einen Unterstrich gemacht. Das ist alles. Hier in keine Bemerkung zu diesen Worten. Hier sich in anschauen. Hier in, äh, in Israel? Jawohl, hier in dann, Israel. Dann ist mir diese Sache bestimmt entgangen. Das liegt ja auch in der Natur der Dinge, sonst ja. das hätte ich doch ganz bestimmt aus, äh, korrigiert, wenn mir das aufgefallen ja. wäre. The solution Gruppenführer must be political, but now that the Führer ordered a physical solution, then it is known and open that this must be a physical solution. But we cannot carry on this killing as was done in Minsk and in other places, I believe. This will turn our men to sadists. We cannot solve the Jewish problem by shooting into the defenseless Jewish woman lifting a baby towards us. The accused commenting on this quotation. No, this is an absolutely false interpretation of my words. The meaning is quite obvious and it is a different one. The meaning simply jumps off the page. I never said it should be a physical solution. But you said that it was more elegant to kill by gas. I was against the physical solution, whether by gas or by bullet. It, it's the same. And this was what the people from the Ministry for Eastern Affairs said about the elegance. My own view was quite different. Now, as to who uh, inserted these words about the physical solution into this passage, I do not know, but it is not my meaning. You say, you, when the Führer ordered the physical solution, it is clear that the solution must be physical. Did I ever sign this? No, you made no comment, no remark. The only word you underlined, stressed, there is only one such word. Was that here in Israel? Yes, here in Israel. Well, then I must have overlooked it because if I had seen it, I, I would have certainly commented about it. How could I have, uh, how could I have uh, failed to comment about it? I made a comparative study here and I, I proved it with facts and figures. So let us for a moment say that Hess was mistaken about the date, but he did show you the procedure of extermination. He says that he showed you the whole procedure. It is not important when. Did he ever show you the procedure, the process of extermination? nicht das richtige Wort. Er hat es mir gesagt und zum Teil habe ich es gesehen, nämlich wie die Leichen verbrannt sind. Das habe ich gesehen. I wouldn't say he showed me. That would not be the right word. He described it to me, that's true. And then partially I saw some of it. That is to say, I saw how the bodies were being burned. And uh, did you have any jurisdiction regarding those extermination camps? No, I did not have the slightest jurisdiction. No competence whatsoever. Not the sending of people to the camps, and not to look into the files to interfere and intervene for one of the internees? 
Nothing at all. <coughs> no, this was never the task of 4B4. You personally, did you have any such authority? No, no, never. Therefore, when you say on page 221 and uh, this up to page 224 of your statement, here towards the end of this document, we read something about issuing death certificates for Jews. What concern was that of yours? The question of issuing death certificates for Jews in Warsaw? Could you tell us? I cannot uh, clarify this. I do not know. I can't take any stand to it. Aha. Uh -huh. But it says so in the document. Um, yes, it is written this way, so it is quite possible that it was really the case. It might have been in connection with uh, my talks with the foreign ministry on the subject of Jews of foreign nationality. There might have been an arrangement arrived at, but I do not know because uh, questions pertaining to the uh, government uh, general were regarded as important uh, regarded as important for the Reich when when they transcended the boundaries of the general government proper it is quite possible that uh, the uh, foreign ministry, I'm trying to reconstruct this uh, uh, question, might have intervened here, but I do not know what was the state of affairs at that time. The foreign ministry asked you that you be a co-signatory of these directives, so you would be bound up with this. Isn't that the way it was? war irgendwie habe ich das gelesen die rede davon der unterschriftsbeteiligung aber das hängt ja zusammen mit der gegenseitigen abzeichnungs mit dem gegenseitigen abzeichnungsübereinkommen von dem schon einmal die rede gewesen ist Yes, I've read about it. There was some question about participation in signing, but this, of course, was a question of the mutual agreement on signatures that I had already dealt with. No, no, I am talking about something very specific. Was there a specific problem where the foreign ministry wanted to bind you? to get your signature on these documents so that you would be committed? And in matters which were concerned with the Warsaw Ghetto? I can't uh, figure anything out now at this moment. And I say these are matters which were specifically connected with Warsaw. I, don't know, I do not really know what it is all about. Uh, 
can call Indian of course, uh, nothing was discussed here that would fall outside the scope of the usual relationships between the foreign ministry and the 4B4 department. Oh, no, it was nothing unusual. The extermination of Jews was quite the usual thing in the contact between you and the foreign ministry, I'm sure. But I'm asking you, were you asked to put your signature to directives which pertain to the Warsaw Ghetto? Ich kann im Augenblick nicht mehr sagen, als wie ich gesagt habe. Mir ist irgendwie bekannt, dass mit Unterschrift Angelegenheit irgendetwas in den Dokumenten behandelt wird. Was weiß ich nicht. I say without any documents, from your memory. Ich denke, das wird Menschen unmöglich sein, solche Materie, solch eine gewaltige Materie nach so vielen Jahren und so viel Verwischungen und so viel anderen Eindrücken hier noch präzise als Zeuge im Zeugenstand, das heißt unter, unter Eid auszusagen. Da haben Sie schon eine halbe ja Million Juden. Ich habe ja nichts mit der Tötung der halben Million Juden zu tun gehabt. Karega. It is extremely difficult for me now, nay, impossible, to recall all these events. I remember vaguely that uh, there was some uh, question of signatures thrashed out on some occasions. I do not know. It is absolutely superhuman uh, to keep in mind all this page of material and to uh, be able to remember exactly after so many documents have been showered on me. But this was a matter belonging to the question, the fate of half a million Jews. But I did not, um, um, I was not party to the killing of these 500,000 Jews. In your letter of the 18th of February 1940, T-262, our number 940, there you wrote about the ghetto of Warsaw. And you said, the Attorney General is quoting in German, it will be translated subsequently. Uh, the quotation was, special circumstances require that the residents of the ghetto be isolated more than they have been so far and insulated from the rest of the population. Now my question is, what were these special circumstances? Und äh, das Auswärtige Amt wird die Initiative ergriffen haben bezüglich der Juden ausländischer Staatsangehörigkeit. Und danach ist dieses Problem behandelt worden. Uh, I don't know exactly, but this is quite clear that uh, the authorities of the general government uh, had issued very strict instructions, and here too the foreign ministry um, uh, took particular measures uh, towards Jews of foreign nationality. No, no, not the foreign ministry. This was your initiative. It says, I, this was your initiative. You made the application and you set down the ruling. Therefore, I repeat my question. What were these special circumstances which required a more strict isolation of the Warsaw Ghetto inmates than previously? Das kann ich so aus dem Stegreif nicht sagen, aber ich weiß, dass eine Reihe von Dokumenten hier vor sind, hier vorliegen. Ich habe sie auch gelesen und wenn sie zeitlich hintereinander äh, vorgelegt werden, dann kann man klar darüber sprechen, was los gewesen ist aus dem 
I want you to testify from your memory. You signed a letter here. What did you have in mind? Sir, it is extremely difficult to answer the question offhand, uh, but I'm sure there are a series of documents um, relevant there too, and it would be very easy to take these documents so that some light be shed on the problem more amply than otherwise. Mr. Hausner, leave the documents. Testify from memory. You signed the letter after all. President of court, perhaps he sh should see the document because this is a question of formulation here. President of court, you are required to comment on that first sentence, first uh, on that sentence on the first page, where it speaks of the need to isolate the Jews because of special circumstances. nachdem ich jetzt äh, weiß, wie die Sachen im Generalgouvernement gelaufen sind, glaube ich, dass ich sagen könnte, dass äh, hier die Aussiedlungsarbeiten geplant gewesen sind und äh, dass das Reichsheershauptamt bzw. das Dezernat 4 wie 4 hier dafür zu sorgen gehabt hat, dass die Juden ausländischer Staatsangehörigkeit entfernt werden. Aber diese, diese äh, äh, Maßnahmen zur Aussiedlung des Ghettos äh, Warschau hat nicht 4B4 durchgeführt, da war nicht 4B4 zuständig und infolgedessen weiß ich diese Angelegenheit auch nicht im Einzelnen auswendig. So verstehe ich diesen Brief heute. Ähm. Denn, Verzeihung, ich muss die Sache komplettieren, denn die Juden ausländischer Staatsangehörigkeit sind, wie ich schon sa sagen konnte, das Primäre gewesen für das ähm, äh, Reichssicherheitshauptamt, weil dieser Faktor äh, Reichsbedeutung äh, zuzumessen, diesen Faktor der Reichsbedeutung zuzumessen war. Während die örtlichen Maßnahmen im Generalgouvernement von Generalgouvernements eigenen Behörden durchgeführt wurden und nicht unter Einschluss des Reichssicherheitshauptamtes. Zumindest nicht 4 wie 4. President of Court, uh, yes, sir, you, you will have the document back as soon as this is translated and then the questions can yes. be asked. After I have perused this document, I can reconstruct the situation of the general government. I presume, I can imagine uh, that uh, uh, certain uh, uh, resettlement work was planned and the RSHA and the 4B4 was uh, to uh, take particular actions towards the uh, Jews of foreign nationality. But so far as the deportation of the um, inhabitants of Warsaw Ghetto was concerned. This was, these uh, um, measures were not uh, implemented by the 4B4 and it was outside the scope of competence of the 4B4. Uh, therefore, I do not remember the matter in detail since uh, my department was not dealing with it. I have to complete by, uh, this by another statement. President of court. Okay. Um, therefore, I do not remember the details of the matter since, as I pointed out before, we were not uh, dealing with it. If I may add something, I would like to point out that uh, Jews of foreign nationality uh, were um, attached uh, 
uh, special uh, importance was attached to the Jews of foreign nationality, it was an extremely important problem so far as the Reich was concerned, and uh, local measures in the general government were carried out by the authorities of the general government proper. And uh, as I pointed out before, it had not been uh, planned by the 4v4 office. Further on in this letter, on the second page, you wrote that before you would give further instructions, you would like to have the uh, comments of the foreign ministry. Now, what are these further instructions you had in mind? Before ich in der Angelegenheit weiteres veranlasse, quoting in German, before I give any further instructions in this respect, that is what you said. Das der Juden aus staatsangehörigkeit. Uh, uh, of course, uh, aimed at the. Um, removal of the Jews of foreign nationality. This had to be uh, dealt by the RSHA, that means, say, for before department. And uh, it was within your competence to issue such instructions. Uh, uh, of course, in this case, I was to receive special uh, authorization from my uh, superior. After all, it emerges from the fact that this was an extremely important issue and couldn't be possibly settled on the uh, level of a small section. Yes, yes, it says here before I give instructions, but I'm sure you'll tell me I does not mean I. We have already seen it uh, as a number of times. This was a German official lease. This was a German uh, bureaucratic lingo. It had nothing to do with my person. These were not personal letters. And I tell you that this official correspondence had to be precise. And had you meant the office, you would have had to write this office, or this division, or this department. This would have been the proper way to denote the office. But when you write I, you mean yourself, either yourself in person, or yourself as the in your capacity as personal representative of the chief of the security police. That's what I tell you. Es hier, wenn ich Vertreter wäre, hieß es hier IV. Es heißt im Auftrag. Die Ich-Form ist die gebräuchliche für einen Beamten. Ich selber hätte es wahrscheinlich gar nicht einmal geschrieben, aber das wurde geschrieben von 4B4A-1 von einem äh, alten Polizeibeamten. Und dieses Amtsdeutsch ist in der Ich-Form, denn der Kopf heißt der Chef der Sicherheitspolizei des SD. Ich um, of course, that's enough. We've had this before. If I had been a special plenipotentiary, if I had been replacing someone, it would have been written IV, then say in uh, lieu of someone else. But here it is written in Auftrag, meaning on assignment. But it doesn't mean to say that uh, myself. Um, this was only, as I pointed out before, the official lease um, of uh, Germany of that day. And this was just a bureaucratic lingo and had nothing to do with me personally. Uh, uh, after all, there was a letter head of this letter, head of the uh, security police in SD. So it didn't mean me personally. Well, let's take...